Hey everybody, Low Jockey here. Uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize for that last video that I did on my phone. Uh, the reefer was running. I didn't check the audio. I didn't check anything. But I'm going to make this video to make that up for you. Uh, in the last video, I was talking about, you know, sometimes turning down a load. And, and you know, doing what's best financially for you and your situation. But that's kind of like more advanced so what I'm gonna do is something called uh, I'm gonna make this segment up a hey, if this is beneath you then I can understand why you're leaving give me a like and we'll see you on the next video but this video is for people who are either coming to Hirschbach people are thinking about leaving Hirschbach and people who honestly didn't read the paperwork on what they were signing up for when I say paperwork, I mean here, this contract that everybody gets, this is my individual contract. Now, I'm not going to tell you in detail Hirschbach's paperwork. It's, it's, it's not my business. It's not like I'm trying to reveal anything against them. But some people are just signing these things because they want to get out of orientation as fast as possible. I understand. I was there. I just wanted to leave and hit the road. But if you haven't done a lease because you've been a company driver certain things will catch you off guard so on this particular segment I'm just gonna talk about some of my fixed costs and variable costs for the lease so you can get an understanding on what the prices are you guys hopefully you're looking at your check every week but I'm gonna break down my specific lease I took down some notes I went through this thing and took out the important parts. There's a lot of stuff that's important in here. But what I'm going to focus on today is fixed cost and variable cost. Okay. Like on the last video, I said the pay period begins on a Wednesday. It takes about two days just to cover all your fixed costs. And then the variable costs are still going. Alright, so when I say fixed costs, I mean your truck payment your insurance fuel tax you know any uh, health care insurance things you're coming out that's your fixed cost and then your variable cost of course is the fuel the maintenance program they charge you by the mile on the truck and the little lease completion bonus thing but in my specific situation when I add up all my insurance bobtail insurance uh, physical damage all that plus the truck payment plus I have occupational health insurance when I add all of those up every week on Wednesday when I start that new pay period I'm in the hole a thousand fifty four dollars me personally all right so that's why I say when you start your week on a Wednesday if you get a load that's a thousand miles on Wednesday and Thursday that you drove and delivered on, uh, on Friday or whatever the two days that you drove you just went even with your truck payment and your uh, fixed costs so know your fixed costs when you get started so mine I know is a thousand fifty four every week sounds crazy my truck payment 755 plus all the insurances and everything add up to a thousand fifty four and you got your fuel, which I'm on a 99 cent program, so it's very simple. However many gallons I use a week, that's how much they're going to take out of my next settlement. The fuel tax and this lease completion and the fuel maintenance. Okay, so going back to the contract here. Um, fuel, fuel and uh, fuel use tax. They're going to charge you three cents per mile. That's odometer miles. It's not the miles that they give you on your load. So if you have a thousand mile load that it says they're gonna pay you, but when you put it in your GPS, the shortest distance you can find is a thousand twenty-five. That's how much you're gonna pay times three cents for that specific load. Okay? Uh, you got a full service maintenance, that's ten cents on the odometer mile. So like I said. They say they'll pay you for a thousand miles, but in reality, it's a thousand twenty-five miles to get there. They're gonna charge you odometer miles 
for the maintenance program, which is 10 cents a mile. Okay, so I did a scenario to where, let's say you did a 2,500 mile week. You'll have a fixed cost, which is mine. We're gonna use my example. You'll have a fixed cost of $1,054. You drive 2,500 miles that week. And my truck, we're just gonna say it gets seven miles per gallon. Mine does better than that, but we'll use seven miles per gallon, okay? And if I drive 2,500 miles that week, I'm gonna use about 358 gallons of fuel. Now that 358 gallons, you just do the 99 cents program, that's gonna be about 358 bucks. The fuel tax that you're gonna get that week, and again, I say the fuel tax is three cents times your odometer miles, which is 2,500 miles. That's how much you got paid. Your odometer might be another 100 miles, but we'll just say it is 2,500. Then you're gonna pay about $75 that week in your fuel use tax. The lease completion is like a penny a mile. It's like your own money that they take and put it to the side. So when you finish the lease, you get the money back. All right, that comes up to about 25 bucks a week if you do only 2,500 miles. And finally, which is a big one, is the uh, fuel service maintenance, okay? I'm sorry, full service maintenance, I said fuel. Your maintenance program, full service maintenance. It is 10 cents per odometer mile, okay? And if, by example, you only drove 2,500 miles that week, it will come out to 250 bucks. So you have to add that all together. That's 1,054 for the fixed cost, $358 for the fuel that week, $75 for the fuel tax, $25 for the lease completion, and $250 for the fuel maintenance, okay? So you add those figures up, and that is the total cost for the week. And it can add up. It's looking like uh, somewhere around, I'm just looking at the numbers. 1,700 or something? Maybe not, 1,600, you can do the math. So, that's why I say, when you get these very, don't get me wrong, short runs are good because they pay more per mile. However, they need to add up at the end of the week to at least 2,500. So if you can do 350 mile trips and at the end of the week it add up to 2,500 miles, that is a very good. Okay, but in general, you want that 500 miles a day. You gotta have it. The reason I say 500 miles a day is because, I mean, if you drive 500 miles a day, which you could, it takes about eight hours, seven days a week, that's 56 hours only knocked off. And then if you count up your loading and unloading time and your pre-trip inspections all week, you should never run out of hours. So theoretically, if they could keep you busy enough and you did 500 miles a day, you could get up to 3,500 miles in a week. All right, so that's what I'm saying. So in this whole series of videos I'm trying to make, I'm gonna call it Hirschbach Lease Boot Camp. So again, Know your fixed cost, know your variable cost. They're not trying to hide anything. They're not hiding anything. When you get the contract, you're sitting at a computer, take the 20, 30, 40 minutes to read this thing. Don't just click on the, uh, the block that puts your signature there. And then when you get your first check, it looks like complete a complete mess. You're trying to figure out what all these things are and you can't figure it out. It's in here. And I, I mean, these numbers I gave you, I don't have, I'm not using the insurance that they have. I'm not using the pet program. It's a lot of other things in there. So again, I wanna start at the bottom. I'm no expert, I'm not. I only been here four months. I'm new to the lease like everybody else. So, if we can just all get together and have some kind of think tank or some kind of, I forgot the name for it. Jeez. Uh, a bunch of master, mastermind group. If we get a mastermind group and we bounce ideas off of each other, then we can help each other out. Again, that Facebook 
Hirschbach Facebook uh, driver lounge. It is pretty good. People are pretty helpful. Everybody's in the same boat, same fight, and I like it. The only problem is I see a lot of people complaining. But I do see a lot of people getting to places early. That is a very positive. So for the most part, like I said on that phone video that I made, which was terrible, terrible, um, if we get together, man, we can help out, help figure this stuff out. It's tough, you know, it's tough. But the first thing is understanding this. Then when you get to the other truck, I mean, when you get your truck, and then there's other things to uh, do to help you accomplish things. Again, the next video I'll probably do. I have to take notes on it right now. I'm gonna write it down. It's like getting your load. That's the next step. So you got the truck. The next step is to get a load to make money, right? So, like I said, I don't want to touch on it too much more, but that's the next video I'm gonna make. I'll save that for later. You see, I got the green background, boot camp. We going in, all right? So, again, I'm no expert. I just want to be a part of the mastermind group. You guys can leave some comments. Like I said, we can get together. It's a lot of smart guys that I watch on Hirschbach doing these videos. Uh, a lot of times people are trying to recruit. That's a way to make money. Go ahead. I'm just not going to do it. If I do it, I'll make sure I'm here a year first so I can give somebody something of value. I don't want to, I don't want to try to recruit people when I don't know. All I can tell you is that last video that I made that sound like crap, which I apologize again for, you have to possibly change up some things. Like I said, I'm on my third driver manager. Yeah, three fingers. I'm on my third driver manager. Uh, finally, I got to somebody who's pretty okay. Me and him had a, a talk, and he let me know some things about him that the other two didn't. And I respect that guy for that. I know he hasn't been doing it long. And he told me he was new to the whole thing. And guess what? I'm new. He's new. So I, I'll give him some slack. You know. So I know some of the things that he tells me is not because he's telling me. It's because he is simply a messenger from somebody else. So I have to separate him from who's pulling him on the other side. But anyway, we're going to do this together. I feel like I have to do something to help somebody. You know, like I said, if this is not any value to you because you're already more advanced and you already know what's going on, then hey, help me out. Help me help somebody else out, okay? Do that. Anyway, know your fixed costs. Write them down. Stick them on your windshield or something. I don't know. Have it somewhere so you know. It takes about three days just to pay your expenses by that example. So you need to get the miles. You need to get them. Anyway, time for me to take my nap again. I'm a like, I don't know, I'm like eight hours away from my delivery and it's pretty tight. So I got a hot load and I'm going to set my alarm so I can get up and run that. But I just wanted to help you guys. Since I put out a bad product, I just want to make it better. And uh, this is a hobby for me. I, I make the videos because I'm like doing a documentary on myself to see how I progress. And when I say progress, I mean I want to progress from the crappy videos to making it look like I got my studio. This is the truck, okay? I'm just in the truck like everybody else. And uh, that's it. Like the video. Subscribe. I appreciate you guys, and I'm going to help somebody, even if it's only one person. I might be talking to you, whoever you are, and uh, hit me in the comments, and we can bounce questions off each other. Thank you. Good night.